Hi, hello everyone. This is Shivapriya from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University, JNTUJ, Anandapuram. Today, I am here to explain you about one of the best and efficient sorting technique, Merge Sort. Now, let us have a look on that topic overview. In this video, we will discuss about what is Merge Sort, introduction to Merge Sort, working of Merge Sort, Merge Sort algorithm with example, implementation of logic with source code, and time complexity and its applications. Now, going into our topic, Merge Sort. First of all, what is meant by sorting? Sorting is a process of arranging items systematically. It means arranging the given list of array elements, preferably in an ascending order. Now, going into our topic, what is Merge Sort? How it works? Let me explain in detail. It works on the principle of divide and conquer rule. It means first there will be an unsorted list. That unsorted list is divided into n sublist until each sublist contains one element. This is how dividing part is completed. Then we have to merge these elements. How we will conquer these elements? We have to merge sublist to uh, adjacent to sublist to produce a new sorted list until we get one complete list. That is sorted list. This is how merge sort will be done. I will explain you in detail. First, we have to find out the mid, mid index of the array. How we will find if P is the first index of the array and R is the last index of the array, then Q is equal to P plus R by 2. Then we will divide it into two halves. Then you should divide that, that two sublist into other halves until we get one element in each sublist. Then we have to conquer them by recursively sorting the subarrays in each of the two subproblems created by the divide step that is recursively sorting the subarray that is first subarray pq and recursively sorting the second subarray q plus 1 to r where where p is the first index of the array r is the last index of the array q is the mid index of the array then we have to merge those sublist until we get one complete sorted list now let us explain let me explain about Merge sort algorithm. The merge sort function repeatedly divides the array into two halves until we reach a stage where we try to perform merge sort on subarray of one size one that is p is equal to r. After that, the merge sort comes into play and combines the sorted arrays into larger arrays until the whole array is merged. Now let me explain the merge sort algorithm in detail. Further. First, we should call the merge sort function by passing three parameters where A is the name of the array, P is the first index of the array and R is the last index of the array. Then, if the first index of the array is less than the last index of the array, it means P is less than R, we have to divide it. So, Q is equal to P plus R by 2 until we uh, one uh, each sublist contain one element. So, we should call merge sort for first half. Merge sort of A, P, Q. Q is mid index. Again, calling second half merge sort of A, Q plus 1 and R. After dividing it, we should merge it. Recursively merging two halves in sorted manner so that we will get one sorted list. In that way, we will, so we will merge all the sublist until we get one sorted list. Next, let us discuss merge sort algorithm. In detail by using an example. To understand merge sort, let us take an unsorted list as an example. Uh, it contains 8 elements 14, 33, 27, 10, 35, 19, 42 and 44. Now we have to divide it. How we will divide it? By finding the mid index. Here first index and last index by 2 that is 0 plus 8 by 2 is 4. Then we will divide it into two sublists 14, 33, 27, 10. This is the first sublist and second sublist is 35, 19, 42, 44. Now, these two sublists should be divided until we get one element in each sublist. So, the first sublist is divided into 2, 14, 33 and 27 and 10. Second sublist is divided into 35, 19, 42, 44. Now, it should be divided into small into sublist until one element no so we will divide 14 33 27 10 35 19 and 42 and 44 now we get 
one element in its sublist. So we have to perform merging operation. In this conquering part, we should we should compare the adjacent two sublist and sorted them in sorted manner. So we will compare 14 and 33. 14 is smaller number. So we should place it on the left side. So 14 and 33. Again, we should compare 27 and 10. Here, 10 is smaller than 27. So, 10 and 27 is another sublist. Again, we, are, we have to merge 35 and 19, which is smaller 19. So, 19 will be placed on the left side and 35 will be placed on the right side. This is another sublist. Now, we have to merge 42 and 44. 42 is smaller element. So, 42 is on left side and 44 on the right side. Now, we get 4 sublist. We should merge it to get 2 sublist. Now, this 14 and 33 is compared with 10 and 27. We should keep the smallest element on the left side. So, here 14 is compared with 10. 10 is smaller. So, 10 is placed in the first sublist. Next, uh, 14 is compared with 27. So, 14 is smaller, it is placed in that sublist. Next, 33 and 27. 27 is smaller than 33, so 27 is placed. Again, 33 is placed. Now, we should compare these two sublists in the same manner. Then, we will get 19, 35, 42, 44. Now, these two sublists should be compared and place them in a sorted order. Now, let us compare these two sublists. Now, uh, let us take a loop variable i for first sublist and take a j, j loop variable for second sublist. Now comparing these two sublists, 10 is compared with 19. 10 is smaller, so it is inserted in the new, sub new list. Again, then 10 is inserted, then i will points to 14. 14 is compared with 19. 14 is smaller, then it will be inserted. Again, i is increased and i... Uh, points to 27. 27 is compared with 19. Then 19 is smaller, so 19 is placed. Then J will be incremented. J points to 35. Now I points to 27. J points to 35. Then uh, I is smaller, that is 27 is smaller, then 27 is placed. Again I is points to 35. J points to 30. I points to 33. J points to 35. Then 33 is compared with 35. 33 is smaller, so 33 is inserted. Now, the elements in the first sublist is inserted. The remaining elements in the second sublist, that is J, we will insert the remaining elements into new sorted list. Then we will get new sorted list as 10, 44, 19, 27, 33, 35, 42, 44. They are in the sorted list. In this way, after dividing the elements into sublists based on mid elements until we get each element separately, merge them in the same way and finally we will get the sorted list. In this video, next I will explain how to implement the logic. Here is how to implement the logic. This is the main logic to write the source code. Now, we are calling the method merge and passing parameters A, P or Q where A is the array name P is the first index of the array, R is the mid index and Q is the last index. Now taking I is equal to P, J is equal to R plus 1, K is equal to Q. It means, see here, I is 3, 27, 38, 43 and J is 9, 10, 82. We are merging these two sublists to form one sorted list. While I is equal to R and J is equal to Q. It means while this I is equal to last that is a last mid element and J is equal to Q. Then we have to compare those two sublists to keep the smallest element in the new sorted list. So for that if A of I is less than or equal to A of J then we have to place this smallest element into new sorted list that is b of k is equal to a of i then we have to increment that loop variable that is i plus plus and also k plus plus again 
we have to compare if this condition is not true we should check this condition that is uh, b of k is equal to a of j therefore j uh, j variable will be incremented and k is incremented uh, in when inserting these el elements one sublist will be completely inserted into new sorted list and another sublist will have some elements remaining so we have to insert that further if i is greater than r it means i elements are insert completely inserted into k then j is less than or equal to q it means j variables have one el some elements remaining so we have to insert them that is b of k is equal to a of j and we will increment j and k else if i elements are not inserted and j elements are inserted then we have to use this logic while i is less than or equal to r then b of k is equal to a of i then we should increment i to insert other element and k should be incremented the this is how we should write the logic and perform merge sort then we will get a sorted list that is array b and we can copy these array b elements into array elements by using for loop by using this logic we should write can write the source code for merge lot merge sort by writing the the code when we execute that we will get output like this list before sorting enter some elements then after after executing that list after sorting we will get the elements in sorted order c 10 0 10 14 19 so on so on 42 and 44 they are in the sorted list and we reach the final topic of merge sort that is time complexity first what is time complexity time complexity of an algorithm signifies the total time required by the program to run till its completion the time complexity of algorithms is mostly co most commonly expressed using big theta or order notation it's an asymptote abs asymptotic notation to represent the time complexity now let us discuss the time complexity for merge sort merge sort is recursively al recursive algorithm and time complexity can be expressed as following recurrence relation t of n is equal to 2 t of n by 2 plus c order of n the above recurrence can be solved either using recurrence tree method or master method it falls in case 2 of master method and solution of the recurrence is theta n log n time complexity of merge sort is theta n log n in all the three cases worst average and best as merge sort divides the array into two halves takes and take the linear time to merge two halves now getting into the merge sort will have some applications merge sort is useful for sorting linked list in zero and order of n log n time and merge sort is used in count inversion problems it is also used in external sorting this is all about merge sort hope this video is useful for understanding merge sort applications its algorithm source code and and to execute program thank thanks for watching